Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese and this is my beauty channel. Today we're going to be doing a loft update and of course some Amazon home decor favorites of mine. I found some beautiful pieces that definitely made my loft apartment very homey and aesthetically pleasing. So if you guys are interested in all the items that I got off of Amazon, that is my ultimate favorite, then stay tuned. Before we get started, Let's clean this loft real quick. You are my guest and I gotta make sure this house is clean before you arrive, okay? Okay, let's really start. Welcome to my home. So once you walk into my loft apartment and look towards the left, I have this nice little seating area with these beautiful, gorgeous paintings. You guys, it is like the number one thing everybody asked where I got it and I got these paintings off of Amazon as you can see I have everything linked in my Amazon store for you guys to make it easy but these paintings were $50 each and I got two of them they're very minimalistic and high quality and it was very easy to hang I just used clothes not clothes pins but little push pins to hold up these paintings and they're doing really really good next up is this nice wooden bench that i've been wanting you guys before i even moved into this loft and for me to find a more affordable kind of bench i had to get my hands on it when i tell you this bench is very high quality for the price it might look a little pricey 163 but i seen these benches going for three, four, five hundred dollars, you guys. And for me to find something way cheaper and then having a very high quality heavy piece, uh, it's a chef's kiss, you guys. So bomb. And then as you can see, I got these trees as well, and they came in a pair. This is my third favorite item. These are these artificial areca palm plants. It's fake plants, um, so they are gonna be a little bit pricey. I don't know why they all of a sudden want to tax these artificial plants maybe because they don't die but I absolutely still love these palm plants they bring this whole area together and it's a perfect photo op I also got these boho pillows I did only receive the pillow cases I thought they came with pillows like all together so definitely keep that in mind if you are into like boho aesthetic I absolutely love Amazon boho home decor finds so definitely check that out as well check out my vanity area so this is where the magic happens you guys this is where the magic happens so as you can see you have this 
beautiful gorgeous wooden chair i actually got that off of target i'll have it linked down below but this vanity area the table actually is from amazon as well it's a really really good high quality table the only downside about this table is it's white so you will have to clean it often you guys any white furniture you get you do have to clean it more than often and then i got this nice little vanity mirror you guys this is worth every dime because uh, $145 and it comes with a Bluetooth speaker and when I tell you it gets super loud like you can have a party just off of that vanity mirror and you can charge your phone as well so it's definitely worth it next up I have this little naked lady everybody's been asking me where I got it I got it off of Amazon in black and I put some pompous on it I absolutely love it. It came bigger than I expected. I thought it was gonna be super small, but it's a really good size. I also got these nice little line drawing arts from Amazon. Um, this is unframed, so I did have to buy a frame with this. So definitely watch out for any of the artwork. You will have to buy a frame with it. Read the description before you buy, you guys, because that's my downfall with things. But it definitely comes together. Uh, I love the whole aesthetic on my vanity. I like to keep it black, white, and like brown. And then I also got this stool. Mind you, I thought this stool was a basket when I first bought it. Like, you guys, read the description because this i've been buying things just blindly and it's coming out different but i ended up really liking this stool because this is where we set our remotes and phones down while we're watching tv so it's so perfect and then of course there's some more of the boho pillows on the couch it just brings the whole couch together i also added like a little moroccan blanket on top to just create a whole nice boho warm aesthetic to the whole house as you can see you have the kitchen if you guys are interested in all that i did with this kitchen i did transform this kitchen check out my other video kitchen black and white transformation because this kitchen did not look like how it was in the beginning so definitely check that out now let's go upstairs So when you first come upstairs, you see this gorgeous mirror, you guys. I'm obsessed with this mirror. I took hella pictures, hella pictures as you can see on my Instagram with this mirror. I absolutely love it. Um, actually, this mirror is sold out and I've been trying to find a similar mirror. I hope it comes back in stock. Currently, it says they don't know when they'll be back in stock. When I dropped this link literally after getting this mirror because everybody wanted it, it sold out. So I hope it comes back on sale, you guys. I'm so sorry. But on other news, I got this these gorgeous pieces from Amazon, as you can see. It just goes with the mirror. I try to add mirrors in all my rooms so I can ha create a nice little picturesque area. So I got these mid-century paintings. I did have to buy the frames as well separately. So as again, I'm warning you guys, when you buy paintings, buy the frames as well with them. Kill two birds with one stone. I got this wooden frame. It comes with a two pack, four pack, or single pack. So I did the two pack and a single to make three frames. I also got these floating shelves. They are a little bit pricey, but when you get them, you can tell the reason why it's so pricey. This wood is so bomb, high quality. I know it's gonna last a while. It didn't take, it wasn't that hard to put them on the wall. I did have my boyfriend help me with these projects, which made it easier. So if you have a two person team, I think it'll be super, super easy. As well as I put like, little succulents on top and just create a whole mood for our bed since we don't have a headboard so yeah and then when you look towards in the bedroom you see a nice little fence that we got off of home depot i hang my purses and all that there and then i also got this garment rack i love this rack honestly it was super super hard to put together um, my boyfriend actually ended up putting it together, but I love this garment wrap. I hang Penelope, the pothos, the little plant that's hanging. I hang her up there and just have my jewelry and just nice cute little decor items on there. And just create the whole nice like warm 
plant vibe upstairs and just relaxes you every time you go up. So I love, love, love how it turned out. Now let's check out the bathroom. So when you first come into the bathroom, you see the sink. I like to keep things very, very simple because this is where we, you know, clean, like clean ourselves, all that. So I don't want it to be too cluttered. I did get this three tier bathroom ladder from Amazon. I love it because I can fit more items. It was like really hard to put the items in the bathroom without this rack. And then I also got this painting from Amazon as well. I did have to buy the frame separately. The bathroom itself is very small, so adding these things added some personality to the bathroom. And that is it. Those were my favorite Amazon decor items so far. Definitely check out my Amazon store, link down below. This helps out the channel and it helps you guys find some cool items that you might not see in your average Amazon finds. So definitely check that out. So that's basically like just an update of my loft apartment, what I did. Um, with me, with picking an aesthetic, it was hard, but I love how the house turned out. It's very, very homey. That is just my main concern is making it homey and making it picturesque. Like I could take pictures anywhere in the house and it just looks like I'm in a different place. Let me know down below how you guys feel about how I created this little aesthetic in my loft. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, you guys. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!